Hi everyone, this is Keeves, and uh, today we're going to teach you how to do smelting. Uh, I touched on it a little bit earlier before, but uh, I'm going to have to give it another shot again. Don't mind the graphical glitch right there. There has to be, you know, sometimes with the terrain there's lines, and yeah, graphical glitch. So anyways, what you want to do, you want to start out with a hardwood tree. Uh, make sure you got a saw on there, and what we want to do is saw out a billet. You want a bunch of these. So saw out some billets. We need a good number, probably. Um, you're looking at probably 20 or so billets. And I'll kind of show you what you want to do with them in a minute. But essentially what you want to do is you want to turn these billets into charcoal right here and the reason is charcoal does the exact same thing that billets does but way more effective and way it's just it's just it's way fucking better right so why wouldn't you do it why wouldn't you do it might as well so that's the plan so we'll let this do its thing here quick there we go 10 billets. That should be good. So you go in your kiln. Manage the kiln. You put the billets in your kiln, like so. Turn the light on. Use the bellows. Okay? So what happens is when the bellows gets up to 1500 degrees, right here, um, it gets the maximum heat and it heats up these billets uh, quite well. Right? Every time you use the bellows, you use it every, probably every 30, 20 to 30 seconds is what I find to be the most efficient. That's just me, but I'm just, I'm pretty new to this as well, so I'm still kind of feeling, feeling it out. So, you know, as you notice, every time you use the bellows, it goes up. Bellows, sorry, the bellows goes up and it maxes out at 1500 on the kiln. It goes higher on other devices, but the kiln max out 1500 so then what you do let's flatten this ground here therefore I flatten ground okay grab some ore right now I only got copper ore because there's no iron anywhere nearby once you have the charcoal sorry once you have the charcoal grab the ore Like so. Say you got 60. That should be good for now. Go back. Let's take a look at our kiln. All right. Everything's looking good. All right. For example, I got that in there. What? Oh, this looks like there's a glitch. You notice zero. But I have whatever. Anyways, so I'm gonna put the charcoal and the stuff in there, and the light on. And obviously it's glitchy. That's the wonderful thing about Alpha. <laughs> and we work the uh, the forge and the anvil the same way that we would work the kiln. Alright, same idea, use the bellows. Oh. Let's go back, manage kiln, take a look. Oh, it's almost done. And now the furnace works the same way the forge and anvil does when it comes to this. From what I understand, the forge and anvil is... Uh, oh, it allows you to do forging jobs, and you can't do that with a furnace, right? Forging jobs, you can make this shit right here. Right now, we can't make this shit, but, okay, I'm pretty sure that's done. Okay, when it full, hits full, like so, let's go ahead and pull out. Pull out before it gets pregnant. Oh, I went there. There we go. We get charcoal. Let's repeat. Alright. 
And just keep pulling out until you get all the charcoal. So it'll be a couple times. I did not do the, the most efficient amount. I think you need something like 17... I don't even know. 19? Maybe it's 20. I'm not sure. But anyways, you can do the most efficient amount of billows in there. Bellows? Fucking... Billets. There we go. Billets in there. And then you get quite a bit of charcoal. I think I heard in the line of 50 charcoal or something like that over 20 billets. Does that sound right? I'm going to say that sounds right. Because I don't know any better. This time, I got 20. And I'm okay with that. There we go. 20 charcoal. Let's go back to the hammer and forge. Or forge and anvil. Let's take a look. Alright, it's doing its thing, right? Don't pay attention to that because that's a glitch. It's not even supposed to be there. This whole thing right here, this forge anvil, glitched to hell. It has no uh, weight in there at all. It has... Oh, man. This is just brutal. Whatever. Either way... Um, eventually what you want to do is you want to smelt all this stuff, right? If it works. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get it to work. Every time I use the bellows, nothing's really changing. So I wonder if this is glitched to hell as well. But technically what we want to do is we want to get that copper up to full. Oh, the charcoal went down, so maybe it's not glitched. I don't know. We'll let it do its thing. Either way, you want to get the copper to full, and when you do, you melt it. And when you get to melting, like if I try doing it now, it'll say, you cannot smelt anything useful out of that. When it gets to full, it'll give you a bunch of options. You can do, uh, ink for copper, you can do copper ingot, you can do copper something else, plate I think it is, or copper nuggets. But, I'm not sure if I want to wait until then. I'm not sure you want to wait till then. Maybe that's a better saying. Oh man, all the storage stuff is really bugged right now. Great. Gotta love alpha builds. Oh, you notice it is going up. So that's a good sign. Very good, very good. So we are going to wait. We we'll might as well wait a couple minutes. Or not even a couple minutes, but a few seconds while we... Um, get that done but as you can see you know that's just a little bit of the copper ore. I got a big old stack of copper ore right here oh oh sorry big stack of copper ore right here a mound that I have to go through plus an entire mines worth of copper right here like so so I'm going to be busy. <laughs> There's a lot of... Well, no, I'm not going to be too busy. I'm not really going to be using a whole lot of it. As you can see, I'm kind of mining around it. Because there is iron behind it, eventually. Which I am going to get to. Should we take a look? See if it's done? It looks like it's done. Let's try and melt it. There we go. Copper ingot, copper bar, copper nugget. Now, I'm going to try making some nails, and I just want to confirm, because I'm at the forge anvil, I can check. Nails. Oh, fuck. Nails. Common lumps. Lumps. Is that different? I don't know.
Here, let's try this first. Forging, forge my own tools, because I haven't done this before. Nail? No, it isn't going to let me. So let's try. Fuck me. Melt? Let's try a copper nugget. Craft one. I need a pro proper tool. Shit. Should have known that. So you need a proper tool. Duh. Come on, Keeves. Let's get a little bit fucking organized here already. Okay. Boom. Smelting tool. You have to equip it. You can't just have it in your on your person. So. Uh, defaults. Gets me every time. Okay, copper nugget. Let's craft it. So you will start pouring into that sucker right there. And then, let's see here. Fours and tongueless nails. Ah, there we go. Boom. And there we go. Ten nails. Each one. So each copper nugget gives us twenty nails. Cool. You know what? I'm going to make a bunch of nails. So I'm just going to auto-craft this son of a bitch. And there we go. Because you will need some nails later on. Might as well get that done. I got plenty of coal to go around. So I'm not too worried. Oh. Okay. Cool. Alright. So... I think that's all I need to show you today. I think you got a pretty good handle of how smelting works. If you have any questions, feel free to co uh, comment in the comment section below the video. And if you like the videos, click the like button, subscribe. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. You have a great have a great day. Bye bye.